Okay, so it's been a while since I've updated about the disastrous paint job. So basically what happened is I sprayed loads and loads of layers on and you can't really see now because I've kind of sanded it out but it was kind of all ripply. It wasn't a smooth finish. Um, so in the end, and I put varnish on it as well and the varnish just, it was spray varnish as well and it just totally it was supposed to make it more glossy but it just made it more dull so sanded that off and what I've done is it's just got the spray paint on at the moment no varnish and I wet sanded it with a thousand grit sandpaper and what what that did was smooth it off as best I can I mean I could have got it smoother because in the light there are scratches on it but um, I think I'm just going to have to deal with it because I don't think I'm going to get it any better and I put some car wax on it and buffed it up and it's it's got this really nice satin finish on it now um, which I really like, I prefer it to the like super glossy finish um, it's just like got that little bit of a sheen on it and so uh, what I'm going to do is I'll talk through what I did okay so this is the sandpaper um, I used 800 grit to start with and this is a thousand grit which is the the like highest grain I have I know you can get like even higher like up to 2000 or something but this is probably the highest I'm going to go up to and I've wet it and I'm basically just sanding it um, quite gently so I don't scratch it and because before I was pressing too hard and it was peeling all the layers off so it's best to sand the way the grain is going and the wet sand is supposed to give it a smoother finish so if you keep building it up, sanding it, so it's nice and smooth, like this. So you have to keep doing this for a while, it's quite, it, it takes a long time to build it up so it's a smooth finish. The back isn't as good as I've got the front, but it doesn't matter as much. I don't know if you can see on the camera, but it has still got that kind of ripple effect from the varnish and the paint. Um, so. I'm not going to get it as good as the front, but like I said, I'm not as bothered about the back. Right, so once it's sanded, as best you can get it, um, like I said, you need to build it up with the grain getting higher and higher on the sandpaper. And once it's as smooth as you can get it, you now need to start your wax. So I've got some wax on here. This is just car wax. And this is the difficult bit because this is the bit that requires effort. <laughs> um, basically you need to rub it on in circles and press quite hard. And the more you do this, the shinier it will be. So this is the bit that takes quite a bit of time. So I'm just doing it quickly just to show you on the video. But once you've done that, rubbed it all on. You get a clean a clean piece of cloth and then you can start to wipe it off um, and buff it up so this is just a dry bit and you just keep buffing it up like that and then you keep repeating the process of waxing it and buffing it up until you have a shiny surface. Um, so I'll show you the other side because this is the side that I've been working on. So I don't know if you can see, but it's got a really nice shine on it now. Um, I might build it up a little bit more, but basically it's just the process of building it all up until you get it to the finish you want. And this works, in my opinion, a lot better than just putting the varnish on because you get the smoother finish and it does feel really nice when you just like run your fingers across it. So just keep building it up and hopefully you'll get a satisfactory finish. So after polishing it and buffing it, it's finally at a stage where I'm pretty happy with it. It's got a nice gloss on it. It's not like perfectly smooth, but it's as smooth as I'm going to get it. So that's that stage over finally. So now I just need to assemble it all back together. <laughs> 